desenllaç de tot el que estàs vivint aquests dies? Què et fa sentir més trist o decebut? Have the feelings been these recent days and what's the feeling in the end? Well, like I said at the start, a lot of things have passed through my head and at the same time, I'm a little bit blocked. I can't think of what to say. I'm still not quite come to terms with the reality of being in this position and leaving this club and changing my life completely. From such a young age, I've been in the first team, and for me, it's always been the same for me. And now we've got to start to change again. It's going to be a difficult change, especially for my family, because they thought that they were going to stay in this city. But I know that we're going to be okay. It will be a difficult change, but, well, we need to accept it. We need to take it on and move forward. Hola Leo, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás aquí detrás? Soy Santiago Valle, estamos en directo en la cadena SER. Felicidades por tu carrera. Congratulations on your career. Good luck for wherever you're going. I want to ask you about that. Paris Saint-Germain is the name that's come up most of everything. Where are you going? Where are you going to play next season? Well, that's honestly one possibility to reach those heights at the minute. I've got nothing confirm with anybody. Honestly, when the press release was published, I had a lot of calls, a lot of clubs that are interested. At the minute, I've not got anything closed, but we're clo talking about a lot of things. What do you think you leave behind in Barcelona? You've got 35 titles there, 650 goals to your name, lots of success. What do you want to leave behind for Barca? And I want to ask you about the iconic moments when you showed your shirt in the Bernabeu, when you got that comeback against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, like I said before, I value a lot this club. I've always tried to manage myself with humility and respect and understand the importance of wearing the Barcelona shirt in this way. And I want people to recognize that for me, as well as the game that I've played on the pitch. And I, they'll remember me how they want, in the way they want. I'm very grateful for the entire career that I've had, but especially in Barcelona the titles that we've won, the defeats as well, because they made me learn and grow. And we've not suffered that many, but you can learn from the defeats. What was the other question? Well, a lot. These that you said, are when we've won titles, when I've celebrated them with my friends, my family, my children. And the thing is, I've got a lot of memories, and they're all really good. Hola, Leo. Aquí, Adria García de Radio Nacional. Quería preguntarte, bueno, en primer lugar, gracias por todo, y quería preguntarte. Thank you very much for everything. I want to ask you, is this the most difficult time of your sporting career? Yeah, yeah, without doubt. Yes. I've had a lot of difficult moments, tough moments, a lot of defeats, but in the end, the other day, not going back to train, not going back to the pitch. I'm not going back. This is the end with this club, and now... A new story will begin. And yes, that's one of the most difficult moments for me. Thank you for the football that you've given us, the 35 titles. 
cuando se fue José María Bartomeu, tú dijiste que habías, te sentías decepcionado, que había mentido. ¿Te sientes ahora igual? Gracias. You talked about Bartomeu, you said you were just disappointed. Do you still feel the same way? I'm very sad because I didn't want to leave this club. It's the club that I love. And it's a moment that I didn't expect. Because like I said at the start, I never lied. I've always been honest and upfront. Last year I wanted to leave. This year I didn't. And that's why I'm so sad. Hola, aquí Leo. Irak Pérez del Diario Sport. A la gente le cuesta mucho imaginarse cómo será este Barça sin sin ti. Sin People are really struggling to imagine what Barça will be like without Leo Messi. What do you imagine Barça being like without you? Well, Barça is one of the best teams in the world. It's got an amazing lineup. They're gonna more more players will come, not just now but in the future, and players come and go in the end. And like Laporta said, this club is more important than any one person. People will get used to it. People will get used to it. At first, it will be weird, but in the end, they'll get used to it, like everything. At first, it will be weird, but like I said, they're really good players. They've got a great squad, which in the end, it will be easy for them. Eh, primero, muchas gracias por todo, Rusia Toreo del Mundo Deportivo. Eh, hubo imágenes eh, después de la final de la Copa del Rey de tus compañeros haciéndose fotos contigo. There were footage of the Copa del Rey celebrating with your teammates, photos in your house as well, having a party. When was the moment that you decided that you leave? Was it after the first meeting with Laporta, the fact that you knew you had to leave, did that make you sad? Were you frustrated? No, in reality, when all that happened, I went to have lunch with the new president. We talked, we ate. And after this meal, I was pretty convinced that we weren't going to have any problems, that I was going to be able to continue. My contract was never a problem. And then what happened happened. It wasn't possible, and that's it. But I'm not going to say anything. I haven't not going to give too much more thought about it. not going to tell you what we've been decided, but it was just what it had to be. Oriol Tortajada, del Diario L'Esportiu. Primer de tot, moltes felicitats per tot el que has fet pel CAC Club. Congratulations for everything you've done for this club. My question is, would you not like a, a proper send-off on the pitch with the fans would you be open in the future to come back to the Camp Nou if there's an opportunity with Laporta who said he would be open to it? With the fans, with the players, would you be open to come back to the pitch to have a an homage with the fans? Yeah, but honestly it wouldn't be the same. The moment's now when it's time to go, but obviously... For these people, I'm available for anything that. And yeah, honestly, yes. Hola, buenas tardes. Leo Mari Carmen Torres del Diario Marca. Primero, gracias por todos estos años de fútbol. Eh, mi pregunta es: ¿Crees que a ti y a la afición se le dieron falsas esperanzas para continuar? Teniendo... Do you think the fans were given false hope that you were going to be able to return because it wasn't yet clear that you could? Sign? No, false hope, I don't think so. We all were pretty clear that, and convinced that I was going to continue. It was that clear that we got everything ready, everything was sorted, and there wasn't any problems. No, no, I think we were always very honest with people, certainly on my half. And like I said before, it wasn't... 
what we planned, but on my part, I never tried to trick anyone. Hola, Leo. Mejor. Porque vaya, vaya día que era complicado esto, ¿eh? Menos mal que ha pasado un rato. Eh, Santi Jiménez del Diario As. Leo, eh, eh, sé que tengo que sacar un nombre que no ha salido todavía, que es el de Javier Tebas. Javier Tebas. Bueno, hablamos de Javier Tebas. No one's mentioned it yet. Cuando empezaba, but, al final acabas de decir que. Cuando empezó, él estaba involucrado. Y en el final, esto todo se ha venido a porque. The Liga couldn't make it happen either. What would you say to Javier Tebas? What would you say if Javier Tebas did anything so you could stay? I don't know. I don't know really well any of that. All I know is that because of La Liga, because of the good of the club, because the club didn't want to sign up to what they had to offer. And honestly, I never said anything. I've only met him a couple of times, and the times that I did meet him, we spoke a little bit, and honestly, I have nothing to say to him now, because I've not got any problem with with, with Tebas. Juan Domenech, del, del periódico. No sé si serías capaz de describir cómo te sientes y cómo has vivido los últimos tres, cuatro días. I don't know if you'd be able to say what you felt when you found out the news. Well, it was like a, my blood ran cold because it was really sad, really difficult. Right up until now, we're still trying to process it all. And when I'm going to go home, I'm going to feel still pretty bad about the whole thing. It's going to be even worse, but the important thing. Is that we're all okay, my family, my loved ones, and that I get to keep playing football. That's what I like doing more than anything in the world. And now I'm sure now it's going to be a bit difficult, but we need to move on. Some of the teammates that played a lot of years like you, like. Xavi Hernández, Andrés Iniesta. Tu escuis un, possiblement, segurament, un rival que es creuarà amb el Barça. Surely now you're going to go to one of Barça's rivals. Entens que pugui haver gent del Barça que estigui dolguda perquè escuis un rival com a pròxim pas a la teva carrera. How are you going to feel when you have to face Barça in the next step of your career? Well, the, the people in Barça know me. They know I'm a good player. They know I like competing. I'm not going to communicate here, and I, I'm, like I did here, I'll fight to win everything. In the last years of my career, I'm going to finish it in my way, competing, fighting for titles, and my career in a high. And I want to take this moment to congratulate Danny Alves because he won Olympic gold yesterday. I'm really close to him. And that's my mentality, and that's always what it was in this club. I want to win, and I want people know me. And there's no doubt that I'm going to go to a team that will possibly compete with this club. I didn't want to leave; I wanted to stay, but I have to, and now I need to continue down my path of competing and winning. Hola, Leo. Buen día. Felicidades por tu carrera. Gracias. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hay que interpretar la foto en Ibiza con los jugadores del PSG? ¿Como una casualidad? O... ¿Cómo debemos interpretar esta foto con los PSG players en Ibiza? ¿Es solo una coincidencia? Sí, completamente. Yo me iba a juntar con I María y Faré, lo habíamos hablado en la Copa, que íbamos a estar en Ibiza. Que nos juntemos. Met them in Ibiza, we got together one day. No nos juntamos, nos íbamos a juntar a, a estar juntos, a pasar la noche. We got together and... We're friends. He, he, yeah, me, he called me and he said, I'm in Bitha, do you want to come see me? And he said, well, we'll come out to my house, we'll get together. And Rakitic was there, we took a picture, we uploaded the photo in that moment, because we were having a good time. And there was a bit of a joke at the time, everyone was saying, come, in to, come to Paris, come to Paris. 
but it was all just a, a joke that happened and then later it happened what happened and it was all just that's all the story is it was just a, a joke nothing weird it was just a, a moment with some friends that we had together on holiday and that's it Veo aquí Martí Molina a diari ara. Ara, primer de tot, gràcies per, per tots aquests anys. Felicitats per aquesta carrera tan exitosa. Dius que vols seguir competint, que vols seguir lluitant a la teva carrera. You want to say, you say that you want to keep competing, keep fighting in your career. What could be the, the top football ahead of you? I don't know. It depends on my physical condition. Thankfully, up till now, I've not had any serious injuries in my career. But need to keep moving forward because this could all end at any minute. I've got a lot of players, teammates that say that can happen and that can be very difficult because every day we've got the routine, we get up, we train, I play the matches and not having that at Barca will be difficult, but until I can, I'm going to keep competing. Martina, how are you? Thank you very much for letting us live and enjoy how we've grown and what you've done in Barca. It's been a pleasure. I wanted to use a comparison of football, not football. You've always fought until the end of the match. You've always fought right up until the end of the match. You've always fought right up until the end of the match. Sometimes you spring a surprise, the match ends. The match for signing new players hasn't come to end yet. The window hasn't come to an end yet. And so why all of a sudden is it not possible for you to keep playing this match here with Barca, playing this this game right until the very end on this occasion. Well, like the president explaining, the club's got a big debt because they can't do it. It's not possible and to keep drawing it out. It would make things even more complicated. I need to focus on my future as well and think about my career, like I said before, and what I need to do from now on. Hola, Leo. Filippo Ricci, Gazzetta dello Sport. Sigo la pista de Martín. Esta ha sido una enorme historia de amor. Has llegado aquí que tenías... This has been a big love story here. These 21 years in Barça. Have you come to a point? I think this is just insane. Have you not thought of just fighting and saying, I'm going to stay whatever the cost? Like I said before, I did everything I could to stay, and it wasn't possible. I've not got anything more to say than that because there is nothing more to say. I've, we did everything we could. Hola, Leo. En directo, Jordi Janel, en directo para Televisión Española. Te vas con un palmarés impresionante, lo vemos aquí. Seguramente... You go with an incredible record, which will be very hard to overcome. Are there any thoughts about the new generations? And what are your thoughts and motivations about your new destination, your new club? Yeah, I would have liked to have tried to win another Champions League because we got knocked out in the semi-final against Liverpool, which stopped us from getting another final. We got to the semi-final with Chelsea, with Pep. They prevented us from getting to another final. And I think there could have been a time when we could have won another Champions League, but that's football. The other side of things, I'd have liked to have won. And now I need to look at winning some other things. And I don't regret anything. Try and give the best. Sometimes the things that work out better or worse, but 
que no creo la finita de que, que una más podríamos haber conseguido. Y I've got the opinion that we could have got one more, but volver a ganar la, la Champions y volver a ganar más títulos, como dije recién, terminar mi carrera con los máximos. I achieved my objectives. It's always nice to win more titles, but I'm ending my career here with all the a good amount of titles. It's like Danny who won all these titles and he always tries to go out to win and he was a great teammate and I'll try and get close to him at least. ¿Qué tal, Leo? Hola, Leo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal, Leo? Muy buenas. Hay Bernabe de Portes 4. Uh, felicidades por esta irrepetible carrera. Hay muchos aficionados del Barça que... A lot of Barça fans are obviously very sad about this news. It's been a bit of a surprise, but it's obvious that this, this period is over now. I want to ask you if there was a possibility that you could have le permitiera al Barça meterte en el límite salarial o, o era imposible. Reduced your contract. I offered to reduce my contract by 50%, my salary by 50%, and then they didn't ask me for anything else. The news that I asked for 30% more is a lie. I did everything I could. We did everything we could, and it wasn't possible. A lot of things people are saying are not true. And, like I said, I did everything. Gracias por por todo y por haber cambiado la historia del del Barça con tantos títulos. Has reiterado varias veces que que tú no has engañado a nadie. You've repeated several times that you didn't trick anyone. Do you feel tricked by anyone? No, no. Everyone's been doing everything possible. And it wasn't possible in the end. I'm not going to speak bad of anyone because I've always been up front with the fans, the socies, and I've not lied at all. I've always been completely transparent. The problem is when you don't speak, they say a lot of things. And so everyone gives their opinion, everyone talks. And they can give all the opinions they want, but some of them aren't true. I was always very upfront with everyone. And what was most important to me, what I cared most about, was telling the truth to all the people that have given me so much. Together we've grown, together we've enjoyed all these years together. Thank you to everyone. I have some photos with Leo's 35 titles. Thank you, Leo. Thank you to everyone.